So we're in Davos and uh, I'm here at We Don't Have Time up in the Arctic Arctic Base Camp, which is amazing. And uh, we're all here for the clean energy. So uh, why don't we talk about that? What is needed? How does it work? And, and how can we make sure that people all over the world can get access to clean energy? So we planet is all about pragmatic solutions and we focus on uh, everything from uh, agriculture, energy, we need to have a, a more e equal and just world. Uh, so really uh, we need to help the global south to develop and have access to all the clean energy and develop as well as we do here up in the north. Uh, so for us it's very important to, uh, to get the grassroots movement together and, and advocate for clean energy. If you look up in the north, we have a, a whole lot more developed technologies. We have also, I mean, we have to be fair, we have a lot more money accessible. And, um, and, and to do that, um, we have also the possibility to get investment. Uh, we have a, a lot of uh, hydro in Sweden, where I'm from, for example, and, and nuclear. Uh, but other countries uh, don't have this kind of technologies. Then they're dependent to really scale up fast with renewables. Um, and um, yeah, so, so that's what we advocate for. We need to both, you can see it in two investment lines, you need to actually invest really, really heavy in renewables because you can scale that up fast. And then you will have to invest in the base load because the base load is the energy that could produce the 24 seven energy when we don't have the wind or the soul, um, uh, solar power, sorry. Um, and, and those have to work in combination. You, uh, because if you want that really stable grid system, uh, to be able to cook when you want and have hot water when you want, uh, depending on where you are in the world, uh, we have to make sure that people have access to clean energy uh, because we have to get rid of the fossil fuels. So um, what we Planet does is that we, um, we advocacy for the transition to the clean energy and this is, of course, it depends uh, what the different countries need. So there is no one size fits all, but um, we are talking to, to uh, politicians, we're uh, having educational programs, we, we talk to um, uh, industry, we, we need to talk to everyone. I mean, this is really the triple helix of education, science uh, and, and, uh, and the politics and industry. So we have everybody to work together for uh, the 100% renewable, um, not, not re we need 100% fossil free and clean energy. Uh, and we need all form of clean energy sources for that. So you need the solar, you need the wind, you need the nuclear, you need if you have the access to, to hydro or other clean energy sources, but we have to get rid of the fossil fuels. We cannot have any oil, we cannot have any gas. So let's start that transition now. So we plan it works uh, with um, agriculture because we need to feed the world as well on a just uh, way. We need to uh, uh, to land spare. We need to keep the biodiversity. We need to keep uh, the natural going. Uh, we we need uh, to have uh, an, an equal and just world. We cannot say that we have the right to eat. We have the right to clean energy up in the north, but we won't let the global south. So we have to really support and develop and and have. Um, give them the opportunity to develop the same way as we have in the global north. And all of this is, is, is all interconnected. It, it all works together because we're all people and we all want to develop and we all want to have a good world. And people think that, oh yeah, but we cannot be too, too many people on this planet. Yes, we can because we're smart, we have the technology and, and we just have to use the knowledge and the science in the way uh, that we know how to because we can manage. It's not a problem. But we have to spare uh, the nature. We have to make sure that we, we thrive and develop. We need that prosperity and we can have that. So we, we, we cannot say it's either or renewables or nuclear or hydro. We have to work everything together. We need all the clean sources that we have because when everybody has energy, that's when they can start develop. That's when they can have I industry and technology working that also needs energy because then when you can produce food uh, more secure, you can get more yield uh, per hectare. Uh, you need all the technology that the, the global north has access to, to the south. So we need the education, we need the energy, we need the food and we also need the nature because without the nature we're, we don't have anything. So that's, that's how, what we advocacy for. 
we do our advocacy work. We have campaigns. Uh, we have uh, member organizations in 18 countries. So um, we, we do uh, educational training. We have uh, campaigns, both like action campaigns, uh, but they're of course non-violent and we don't destroy anything. So it's, it's we advocacy by words <laughs> and uh, use the science behind it to explain why we're doing things. Uh, we have digital campaigns. Uh, we have meetups uh, and um, and yeah, we try to really get the grassroots movement going. So if, if you're a person that believes in pragmatic solutions based on data and science, I think that's Sweet Planet.